Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Terrain Showcase. This time I have a small set of hills and rocks as in addition to uh, just another set of ruins that I did for a customer. So I have two medium sized hills, a larger size hill, two medium sized uh, rock outcroppings, and then a larger rock outcropping that is probably about seven to eight inches tall and it will easily block line of sight for say a uh, Tau Riptide in Warhammer 40k which is this set is uh, mainly being used for. So I will jump the camera off the tripod, uh, zoom around, check out some of the foliage. So starting with the hills as they're simple it's just carved high density uh, one inch thick uh, foam on a piece of eight inch MDF and then it's all put uh, sand and then painted up and then I flocked them up variously. These ones got flocked a little bit much, but that's okay. Uh, I usually just add, keep a little bit more brown areas. That's okay though. And the rocks are carved up and then layered with uh, some sculpt mold. Then they're all airbrushed up. And various flocking. I do a bit of dry brushing after all the airbrushing. And there's a variety of flock and bushes going on. We got the larger one in the back here. Again this one's quite tall so it is chubby too. So it will totally block line of sight for again something like a riptide. You could probably stick a rhino or something behind it and you wouldn't be able to see either. And then the large large hill. So that gives you a closer look at the pieces. If you are interested in getting some custom terrain or miniature painting commissions done, you can email me at infogreenleafterrain.com and I'll get back to you with a quote. I will have a set of pictures of this guy up on my Facebook. You can also see all my other custom work through the albums on the Facebook. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy wargaming.